Modern Stakeholders Consultative Forum, NSCF, and other 72 civil society organizations have called on the House of Representatives to immediately investigate allegations of corrupt practices against Honorable Ugo Chinyere Kenga and the disbanded Joint Committee Tax, tax with overseeing the oil industry. The group said the alleged misconduct of a House of Reps member threatened to undermine the trust the Nigerian populace on elected officials and the legislative framework that governs the, nation, the national affairs. Addressing a press conference in Aduna, the spokesperson of the forum said it is united to advocate for accountability, transparency and ethical governance in Nigeria to uphold the principles of democracy and ensure elected leaders serve the citizens and adhere unwaveringly to their responsibilities. The unsettling reality we confront today reflects an assembly that has deviated from the ideals of service and integrity, an institution where the corrupted Ethos have, permi have permeated the legislative framework. The allegations against Honorable Ugo Chingeri Ikenga underscore a, discon a disconcerting narrative of exploitation and corruption. We advocate for a transparent, accountable, and ethical legislative process, one that genuinely serves the Nigerian populace and reinstates faith in our democracy. And let us work together for the greater good ensuring that the actions of our leaders are reflective of the values we espouse as a nation. Also, the forum said exploitation and corruption are det detrimental to the public trust bestowed upon the legislature, noting that if left unchecked, they will pose a significant risk to democratic foundations and must be addressed with utmost severity. We have a duty as Nigerians to watch moderate and ensure that this democracy we are all enjoying must be sustained. Any attempt by any individual or a group of people to undermine the democracy, we will vehemently resist it. And to that extent, for us, we feel they are not above law and they are not covered by any immunity. And even if they do after service, they may have to feel music if we found one thing or the other that is wrong with them. The fact of the matter is that Somebody being elected as the Senate, House of Reps, Governor, or even the President, giving a mandate by Nigerian people does not in any way make you feel you are more superior than an average Nigerian because it's the Nigerian people, the ordinary people, took their sovereignty on trust and handed over to you as a mandate to protect them. So an attempt to undermine that and abuse that trust, definitely Nigerians must speak out. A key interesting in the undermining of the National Assembly, in quotes, where somebody single-handedly feel it's too big to be checkmates by the leadership of the National Assembly, undermine the leadership and the end of the blackmail them. No, we won't accept that. Because the National Assembly is key to our democracy. They call on the leadership of the House of Representatives and the Speaker of the House to initiate a comprehensive investigation into these serious allegations and review the CCTV footage on the complex. The National Assembly, get it clear because there is uh, an allegation, a, a revelation of scandal. They ought to investigate to, 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 to its. Uh, Conclusion. Exactly. So that's what our demand is. We are demanding action from the leadership of the National Assembly so that they don't cover up this. And pass and off like that. that. That's what we are saying. That's exactly uh, the story. Because uh, we are Nigerians uh, and uh, we are part of the cultured Nigerians that believe in thinking about a new Nigeria and would not allow for any reason the tradition of cover-up in a situation where we have people of the younger generation in there. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.